Welcome. My name is Josh. My username stands for what would Josh do? And this is my video on the 6,400 milliamp hour extended battery for the Galaxy Note 2 by Mugen. They do make a lot of other batteries and accessories for other devices as well. So definitely check out their website. I will have a link to this battery in the description. I will also link to the unboxing that I did um, a little over a week ago. The reason why it's taken so long to do this review is simply because this battery lasts forever. I am not even lying to you. I played a crap ton of hill climb racing. I found that game addicting and I would play it when there when it, you know when I wasn't doing anything or when I was bored and I played it for over an hour, probably about an hour and 20 minutes. And I still got like two days and 20 hours out of the battery. Recently, I got it to go at the three day mark before I hit like, you know, maybe seven, 10%, somewhere around there. So I promise you, I am a hardcore Android user. I have a rooted device, completely stock ROM. And that, that's another thing that I want to bring up. If you have a custom ROM like Jelly Bomb or, or Sanjumod 10 or some ROM where it enhances your battery life better than stock, you're going to get about a week's battery life out of this if you just use it lightly. Even on a stock ROM, like if you got your phone from Sprint and you haven't rooted it, haven't unlocked it, haven't customized it, you should get four to five days out of it if you're not, you know, a hardcore user like me. I use the crap out of this thing. So much like Instagram. Um, I have a second channel where I post like, you know, quick videos from my phone. Like I've been wanting to do one recently talking about, you know, a lot of things. And I've, I've done them recently. I just wanted to do another one. But I had, I'm a very busy person. I have a daughter that has cerebral palsy. I work full time. So it's like I really only get Monday and Tuesday to go hardcore on this stuff. And I upload videos like, you know, 10, 15, 20 minute videos from the front facing camera in 720p. And then I upload it directly from my phone to my second channel, which has been in the description of all my videos for over a year now. So if you want to, you know, check out behind the scenes and if you want to know what kind of videos I'm working on, Instead of tweeting out 140 characters, I just make a video talking about everything. Anyways, that's just to say that I use the camera, I upload it directly from the phone, I play a lot of games like Hill Climb Racing, and I messed up there, yeah, oh well. I use the crap out of this awesome, awesome phone, and I still get it to last almost three days every single time almost every single I can put screenshots up right now I get two days two days two days two days three days and like I said that's with recording a video that's about 16 minutes long directly uploading it from my after recording it with the front facing camera directly uploading it to my Josh's nice channel my second channel where I post like video blogs behind the scenes stuff that I don't feel belongs in the main channel and I do it from my phone, so I I do everything and anything, and uh, I use the crap out of this thing. Try very hard to kill it, and I still get about two days and you know almost three days, like hitting that twenty hour mark, and two days and twenty hours or more almost every time. I I don't know, like part of me wanted to just go back to the stock battery since I got like a day and a few hours, like a day and three to. About a day and three hours to a day and 12 hours, depending on, like, what I did. But that was not, I repeat, that was not playing hill climb racing for over an hour in one session. <laughs> Just being bored. And then every time I have a break or I'm not doing anything at work, then I play it some more. That game is addicting. I've gotten as far as I can go, so it's not as much fun now. Um, as one of my friends on Twitter pointed out. And so, yeah, another thing to say, I got a TPU case from Cruiser Light that just came in the mail, but I'm probably never, ever going to use it because of this kickstand. This kickstand is a very, very big part of this phone. I cannot tell you how many times I have my phone sitting down like this. I turn it on. I 
Open up YouTube. Let's do that now. YouTube. Oh, tether. Tethering. Okay, hold on. You know, see, I can, I can, uh, I don't want to really get, here, um, let's search for something on my second channel, Josh is nice, open that up, watch a video in 720p HD with a kickstand, this kickstand is a huge reason why I will not use a case without a kickstand. Once you get used to propping your phone up, sitting back and watching a YouTube video or Netflix or anything like that for that matter, you just, you, everything else, anything without a, without a kickstand just starts to feel kind of, um, uh, well, oh, I'm almost at 600 subscribers on my second channel. Nice. I posted this one just yesterday. Um, so yeah, <laughs> anyways, um, n enough with that, you, enough with that, YouTube videos, 720p with the kickstand, and another benefit is the speaker on the Note 2 is right there, so when you have it sitting down like this, you know, this, it's not being covered up. Yeah, it's not being covered up when it's laying down flat. So you pull the kickstand out, and then you can like even hold your hand back here and direct the sound more towards you. Tether. All right, my phone is rooted. I have videos on how to root the Note 2, the S3, the Evo 4 Jilt E, the Evo Shift, just about every freaking Android device out there that I've gotten my hands on. I've done a video on how to root. I can turn my phone into a little hotspot. I can tell you right now that for some reason my my router has issues, the one that Comcast gave me, and it's like a modem, router, gateway thing. I did some research, turns out that the RS gateway I have, that's a phone, internet, and modem, all in one, like router, you know, has known issues. So with 4G, with my phone sitting up in the window, because I get LTE where I live at, uh, near Kansas City, um, to actually like on the border of Kansas City, I tethered for over an hour, probably about three hours, and I only lost a few percent of my battery while it was in the window tethering with 4G going at like six megabits per second on average. So not the fastest LTE, but I barely pick it up and I gotta have my phone in the window, otherwise it goes from 3G to 4G, 3G to 4G. If I put it in the window, then it stays at 4G. So I do things constantly trying my best to kill the battery in here not like i'm trying to see it die but i'm doing things like wi-fi tether okay my internet was out at one point what did i do i put my phone in the window and i started tethering it is very very nice not having to worry about like say you're kind of like me like uh, you go to the spot in your apartment or house that has the best signal like it, whether it's 3g or 4g and you put your phone in there, you start tethering, and then everything starts picking up your phone. And if you're rooted, you don't have to pay for that feature. You don't have to, unless you want to. But I, shoot, not going there. Anyways, being able to tether for a long extended amount of time with these huge honking battery is nice. And I cannot at all complain about the size of this battery. I can't. I mean, the phone is already huge. So you're holding it like this, and you're trying your best to reach all the way to the top to get you notifications. So I cannot complain about the extra thickness. The phone's already really, really big, so you don't really like, I don't know. I honestly don't have any complaints with the size of it. It might be like huge and overwhelming to some at first, but it's really not that bad. So using Wi-Fi Tether for over an hour, playing hill climb racing for over an hour, having screen time on for about five hours, and still getting two and a half to three days every time with, I mean, torturing this device. Playing games, tethering, watching YouTube videos, uploading videos, recording videos, and uploading them directly from the phone. Just, that's a lot of use. I would consider myself a heavy user. A heavy user. And I still get two days and 20 hours on average, sometimes more, sometimes less. 
Again, if you just send text messages from your phone and you just surf the web every once in a blue moon and you, you know, make a few phone calls here and there, I guarantee you, you could get into the four or five day mark with a stock ROM. If you have a ROM that uses very little battery life, you could probably get into five days. I've gotten into three with playing a lot of hill climb racing, uploading YouTube videos, watching YouTube videos, posting pictures on Instagram, where you can follow me if you'd like to, um, posting a lot of tweets, probably more than I should. I'm sorry about that, but I just, I don't know. I like to tweet about stuff. Anyways, you could get more than three days if you were not a heavy user like me. I cannot recommend this battery enough. The price tag, might be a little high to some. It's like a hundred and dollars on their website. But if you're someone that's going to be doing a lot of tethering, like you know, when the power's out and your laptop has battery life, you cannot get online because your router, your modem and your router are not getting power through your wall. So you can't get online, but your laptop has battery and this thing has battery, so Lots of tethering, <laughs> lots and lots of tethering on 3G, WiMAX, LTE, HSPA+, Plus, you know, all those 4G and, you know, 3G plus things from T-Mobile and AT&T, etc. Cannot recommend this battery enough. If I was going out somewhere and I wasn't going to have power, like the military or something like you're in the area where you're not going to have much power, if you use this thing lightly... I guarantee you it would not be hard at all to hit that four day mark, maybe even the five day, if you just use it lightly. Links to my unboxing of this, links to this battery, links to my second channel, links to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links to everything will be in the description. All you gotta do is click the little show more button at the bottom and it expands it and it shows you all the links. I cannot recommend this battery enough. If you're ever without power, you're not. Absolutely not going to f regret having a phone that lasts three, four, five days. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. Freaking pick up this battery, check out Mugen's website. I'll have more videos on this phone. I just, I have a lot of other things to do. I'm gonna do a Nexus 7. I'm gonna do a video on how to flash the Nexus 7 stock tomorrow. I've. I've got um, the Jelly Bomb 13 update. It's huge. It's Android 4.2 based. Uh, I got to do a video on that. It's probably going to take me at least a couple of weeks or more to do that though. But I have a lot of videos to do. I just simply don't have enough time to do them all. Um, that will change here in the next few months or so. Stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's all I ask. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button to the bottom left. It'll notify you when I post new videos on the Galaxy Note 2. I am getting the HTC One when it comes out here soon. I'm also getting the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy Note 3. I am also going to do my best to get the Transformer Book TX300. You know, maybe not the day it comes out, but shortly after, I will do my best to get that. It's got a hefty $1,400 price tag, so it might take me a minute to get that. But I'll try. And I'll have videos unboxing it and etc. I'm super, super excited about it. If you don't know what the Transfer Book TX300 is, if you've never heard of it, I'll have links in the description to some of the videos that I highly recommend checking out. I also found a guy that um, uh, that posted a bunch of, he posted a bunch of videos. I'll link to his stuff. Transfer Book TX300, Note 3, S4, HTC One. Oh my goodness. Lots and lots of videos will be on this channel. And... I wish I had more time to do all the videos I wanted to do. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.